Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today, I want to revisit the skeleton spell and how to use it because Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and even Town Hall 11 now for 11v11 triples, um, we're seeing the kind of mass Laloon suicide heroes or very small kill squad uh, be a very popular attack strategy. So let's talk about. Um, I'm going to focus mainly on Town Hall 9, but this applies to any Town Hall level, like I said. Um, let's talk about how you want to deploy the Skeleton spell, and um, we're going to look at some examples from One Hive Trinity, just kind of hanging out, checking out their war here. Um, a little bit of downtime in One Hive Genesis as we get ready for the uh, CWL playoffs, which are starting soon. So anyway, um, we have just in time showing us a very nice example here. We'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit just because the queen's gonna do her thing. Um, oftentimes, especially at Town Hall 9, you can get some great value from just your heroes. You use a few balloons to lure out the CC, um, get whatever like the air targeting stuff is. Don't, don't even have to use any hogs, that way the goblins or whatever stays inside the CC. Kill it with your heroes, grab a few defenses. And here's what we're gonna focus on. Um, the skelly spell, let's just watch this one first. Um, nice and patient because the queen is on the move. You wanna wait for the queen to go to like a stable location. Right there, boom, she's targeting the lava hounds. The wizard tower is being tanked. Uh, so all the splash is pretty much good. And then skeleton spell rage and she is finished. So um, there's basically two things you want to look for. First, you want the queen to be in a stable location where she is being tanked by um, lava hounds. She's basically not targeting a moving troop. If she's targeting something on the move, that's a little bit sketchy because oftentimes, even if skeletons start spawning around her, she might still be locked onto a lava hound and might just run away to a different compartment. So you want to make sure that you're nice and patient and um, you wait for the queen to be in a stable place, then you drop the skeleton spell. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure the bomb tower um, or wizard towers, but especially the bomb tower, because the bomb tower won't target um, balloons or lava hounds like the um, like the wizard tower will. So you got to be very careful that the uh, the bomb tower is not going to start taking out your skeletons, because people, um, which is a good thing to do, people put the bomb tower by the queen. To try to defend against this so you want to make sure the balloons are closing in and the bomb tower is about to go down as you drop your skeleton spell because there's a slight delay you can go ahead and get it down a little early um, but you don't want to have that bomb tower still up for multiple seconds because it can take out those skeletons really quickly now in this case bomb tower is over away from the queen which is very convenient um, this one was a good use of the skelly spell i think it's the same attacker uh, attacker just in time um, but one uh, critique I do have in terms of how this was done. So anyway, uh, good Laloon pathing worked out very nicely around the base here. It's like a nice two by like two defense wide pathing, three defense wide through the base, so can use those hastes. And he goes ahead and drops that um, Skelly really early because the Wizard Tower is being tanked. Um, the Queen is on a Lava Hound, so. Both requirements are met. The splash is tanked and the queen is in a stable location. But the only thing is, as far as that mortar goes, I would have liked to see either a few balloons on it or like a barbarian or a giant to tank it because it took out some of the skeletons. Often the mortar won't be quick enough to take out a lot. But um, at Town Hall 9, one of the few things that can kind of ruin the attack is if the queen is still up because um, sometimes even the lava pups won't be able to get her. So you want to be very uh, careful. You only need one skeleton spell if you do it right, but you want to make sure any mortars that are nearby, especially if the queen's kind of offset, uh, those should ideally be tanked or be being taken out by balloons before they can do anything to your skeletons. But besides that, very nice attack. Fast forward to the end here, um, and we'll move on to a few more attacks. Um, showcasing the skeleton spell even further. But yeah, like I said, uh, this is a very popular, powerful strategy at Town Hall 9. One of many, I guess you could say. So moving on to number 19, we have Tornado. And um, like I said before, dropping down a few balloons just to lure the CC is always a good trade. 
Um, the reason you want to do this is if the baby dragon and or witch, wizard, whatever else is in there, if that gets on your Laloon, um, especially the baby dragon can be a, a bit of an issue uh, that you don't want to have to have your Laloon deal with. So you want to lure it out, but you don't want to lure out all the goblins and Valks and everything uh, that's also in the CC because that's just annoying to deal with and uh, your Laloon doesn't have to deal with it, so your heroes shouldn't either. So you just use a few balloons and you can uh, get the important stuff out of the CC. I think in this attack though, the king does end up triggering a bunch of goblins, but it's not a big deal. Gets the CC, gets some decent value from the heroes and kind of creates some pathing for the Laloon, which kind of big picture, that's what you want to do with your heroes. The CC, defenses, and pathing are kind of the three things you're looking for. So anyway, a bunch of goblins run out, going crazy here, um, but it really doesn't matter even if those goblins live. So fast forward, the king goes down, but the goblins will just sit there. Here's the Laloon just coming in very strong on the right side of the base here. And then the rage you use on both the balloons and on the skeletons. So that's an important point to make. Uh, right there, um, the queen wasn't in the most stable location, but that's a big compartment. So even if she ran a little bit down, um, he knew that the queen was going to stay within that compartment, so um, it allowed him to be able to drop that skeleton spell even while the lava hounds were kind of like transitioning from one air defense to another and the balloons were pathing over. And as you saw, the bomb tower wasn't even completely destroyed, but um, if the rage is there, if the balloons are about to close in, you can be a little proactive and get it down quicker. That way, um, you don't have to worry about waiting too long and having the queen do something weird. So. That will do it for this attack. I believe we have uh, one, maybe two, actually two more to take a look at from this war. Um, over on the other side of the ball, we have the special war people. Um, not sure much about this clan, but let's uh, take a look at a few of their attacks also using this. Um, so good stuff to them. Once again, suicide heroes, that's typically what you see when you have the skeleton spell to kill the queen. Um, so just drop down the king, drop down the queen, get some value. Let's fast forward here. Um, bomb towers not near the queen, but there are quite a few wizard towers. Um, just as a general note, there should always be some splash damage by your queen in the core. Otherwise, people can do that annoying like skelly donut where they drop... Uh, a bunch of skeletons in a rage in the middle and like clear out your CC, your queen, um, all that stuff. So just be careful. You want to have like one wizard tower or a bomb tower at least. But um, there's the rage. There's the skelly spell. Um, kind of weird air defense location on this base. So I think it made it a little awkward to do. But um, yeah, typically... The queen, uh, if you get the skeleton spell down quick enough and she's not already like on the move, she often will retarget onto the skeletons if they're like attacking her. Um, the thing you want to be concerned about is if she's already chasing after a lava hound, then just hold on to the skelly spell, especially if you only have one, which is typically how you go with this, just bring one skeleton spell. Um, then you got to be patient because it's worse to drop it and have it not kill the queen than to wait and like have a better more uh, carefully executed skelly spell that you know will kill her because honestly she doesn't do a ton of damage to your Laloon especially when you still have your Lava Hounds left up and especially at Town Hall 9. All right last one here we have um, Lucas is the attacker and um, same attack strategy. One other note to, about this strategy is you want to always make sure you have enough minions. Um, it's not in, very time consuming not like a queen walk is but um oftentimes people like will have a ton of balloons left up and not enough minions so the way i see it is typically you're not going to have like one balloon left up either the long balloon's going to work or it's not so typically like one or two balloons won't make the difference so you want to err on the side of caution bring like 10 minions or so um, that way you know you can clean up and also the minions can help kill the queen if the skelly spell goes wrong and the lava pups can't quite do it and that's one of the main things that can ruin the attack is the queen not dying so the minions are also kind of uh, some insurance on that. Alright so the, uh, the the wall breaker fail actually wasn't a big issue if anything it's a good thing because the queen's going to come in and grab all these defenses just out of range only the wizard towers can target her right now so that was pretty cool. 
how that one worked out. And then here comes the Laloon coming at these three air defenses. The pathing's pretty good. Going into the sweeper, not a big issue with those hastes. So gets those things down. And then, yeah, just nice placement on those four hastes. And then here comes the Rage in just a moment, uh, right over basically where the Queen is. You want, it could have been a little bit farther back. And right here, the Queen actually almost jumps the wall, but the lava pups were on her. I think maybe the scalies could reach her. It was a little bit sketchy, but um, especially if your La Lune is going at the air defenses first, then it's even more reliable because you won't have lava hounds cutting across the entire base. If you do have like lava hounds that are going to go across the entire base from one end to the other, then you got to be a little careful because the queen could potentially follow a very long distance. But if it's just regular defenses, no air defenses left up. Um, the Lava Hounds are just going to go defense to defense like balloons, and that way the Queen's not going to go very far, so um, you don't have to worry about the uh, the Skellies missing as much. But anyway, I think that was pretty um, in-depth in terms of letting you guys know the keys to the Skeleton spell. So thanks for watching. I'm planning on doing like a channel update video because uh, it's been a while. I want to talk, uh, see what you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, potentially changes I'm going to make, stuff like that. So that might be coming out soon. But besides that, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.